WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 363. NASDAQ's up 400. S&P's up 81. Gold. Gold contract down $15, trading at 18.08 an ounce. We have silver up 27 cents, $21.04 an ounce. Light sweet crude up four bucks, $110.30 a barrel, notes and bonds. Ten-year note down 26 ticks, trading 119.06. The 30-year is down a full point, plus 27 ticks at 139.03. And King Dollar, I mean, uh, the 10-year right now, 2.92. And King Dollar down 299 at 104.540. Euro 104, yen 129.3. 23 and the British pound at 122 to 1 US dollar. We can always take a look at the S&P. Bottom line, folks, is that, yeah, you get the bounce. You very well could be setting up another C point of an ABC down. You get a monster contraction of volume. Uh, it will really depend on, you know, what we do do coming into the close out here. You know, because realistically, the way you're down, yeah, you can, you can get a bounce. Um, if I said the bounce now, it could be 409. You're at 400. That being said, if this market doesn't hold, hold, this probably is the C point of an ABC structure down because the contraction is pretty dramatic. We got to look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Bottom line, come on, baby, there, there it is. NDX 100, right, right now, the three Qs, they are trading out at, uh, where are you? Look at this, it's got to give you the wrong one. I'm not quite sure how I keep getting that one. There we go. So the Q's up ten dollars. You get uh, <laughs> look at this man. It's amazing. You have fifty nine million shares. Well, fifty nine million is going at one hundred and twenty four, one hundred and forty, one hundred and thirteen. Bottom line, same type of setup. You know, so gold. Gold is continuing into that ABC structure on the way down. We hit eighteen hundred, I think, today. Okay, seventeen ninety seven. It's 1788. That's the number that we're looking for. Now, what's cool is that we are getting a contraction of volume. We're at 166,000 contracts there. You haven't got the rejection of lower price, though. So I suspect we're going to get that number. More than likely, you're going to spike the 1783 because it's 1788. You know, this is the number. So the swing points there, that'll, that'll make it hard to buy. If you spike it down there, then it, you know, we'll see whether they can flip around. It's going to have to do with this U.S. dollar, man. Uh, the dollar's down a bit today, but you really get a breakout in the dollar. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.